continue to follow breaking news of a shooting at fashion show mall near the boulevard in Spring Mountain. Hey, News Now reporter Kristen Drummond joining us from right near Fashion Show Mall. Early reports coming in of multiple people injured. Kristen, what else are you hearing on scene? Well, right now, Brian and Denise, this is an active investigation. As you can see behind me, Metro Police has shut down the entrance into Fashion Show Mall. We're on the backside of it by Dillard's. And as you mentioned, they are investigating a shooting. That's according to Metro Police sources. Uh, from what we're being told, those involved are believed to be juveniles. There was about to be a fight when one of them started shooting into a crowd. We're also told that there may be multiple victims involved at this moment in time. But for right now, you can see Metro Police has locked down the entrance into the mall. We also did see Metro Police's helicopter overhead for at least 10 minutes with their searchlight on. It appeared they may have been looking for the people involved with this shooting. It's unknown at this time if they were able to find those people. But right now, you are unable to go inside Fashion Show Mall as they are investigating the shooting. Of course, stay with 8 News now as we continue to stay on scene and learn the latest details of what happened here tonight. Reporting live, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. Our officers responded and immediately found three victims. All three were transported to the hospital. The injuries do not appear to be life-threatening, and this does appear to be an isolated incident. We believe that the incident began after an altercation inside of the mall. And at this time, we are still looking for the suspect or suspects but we do not believe that there's any further threat to anyone in our community at this time. Uh, as I said earlier, it is an isolated incident from what we've gathered, and the injuries are not life-threatening. Can you tell us where in the mall this happened? We don't have the exact location. Our officers are still going through and processing the crime scene, but as soon as we have that information, we can provide that. You mentioned this was an altercation. Did this involve juveniles, adults? Unfortunately, we don't have that information either. We're still going through the evidence, and we'll provide that as soon as we can as well. Do you know if the individuals who were shot were any of them, any of the suspects, or are they all victims that happened to be there? Were they targeted? So, like I said earlier, it, we believe it's an isolated incident. We don't believe that it was any kind of targeted shooting, but uh, we don't know the role of every single victim at this point, and we don't know the role of anyone else who might have been involved during the initial altercation. What is the scene right now inside the mall? What is Metro Police doing? What we've been told, the entire mall went on lockdown. Sure. So as normal protocol just to ensure safety for everyone. We generally lock the area and make sure that there's no further threats. Our officers did that just in, in partnership with our medical personnel and we determined that there were no further threats. We are as a precaution still clearing the rest of the mall which is uh, should be completed momentarily and we are partnered obviously with the uh, businesses in there and we should have that clear and open uh, very quickly. I will say in terms of the scene on the outside, we have very limited traffic closures at this point, but even that, we are moments away from opening everything up and returning everything back to normal. We were told that there may have been a suspect inside the parking garage. Can you confirm that at all? Unfortunately, I don't, I don't have that information. As of now, we're confident that there is uh, no suspect in the immediate vicinity which that we've searched, um, but we are still conducting the investigation. And at this time, I think it's important for the viewers just to understand that uh, we, we believe this is an isolated incident. The area uh, across the, the, or the nearby area appears to be safe, and we'll be opening the business as soon as possible. Were these individuals who were shot, were they part of the fight, or any? do you know what led to those specific people getting shot? No, unfortunately, we're still investigating it, and determining exactly what happened. And the people, there are still people who are in the mall who are trying to exit, or have no? We've uh, all of our citizens, we believe, have exited, and uh, we've opened the mall up for the most part. We have some employees that we're working on uh, uh, getting home, and but other than that, the area should be clear momentarily. Is the mall then open for the rest of the night? Uh, that will be the decision for the business to determine whether they'll open. I believe they're close to their business, their closing time, anyways. Uh, but ultimately, that will be a decision to determine. I mean, they'll decide whether they close for the last hour or not. And what about as far as, is there any area that drivers need to be aware of that's blocked off? Uh, good question. So we blocked off the initial westbound Spring Mountain area, as well as some of the area behind the mall, uh, and uh, some of the on and off ramps from the I-15 to Spring Mountain. That, the I-15 should be open already, and ultimately the rest of that traffic will be open, like I said, momentarily. Do you know if the suspect went by foot or got away in a car? Uh, we do not know at this time. 
So do we, we believe the suspect, or you said suspect or suspects, we don't know how many there were at this time. Generally with incidents like this, we don't want to make any kind of declaration on how many suspects until we do the investigation and determine it uh, with, with some certainty. Uh, so as of now, we believe uh, it may have been one shooter, but we're, we're not certain. So do you know if it's a male or a female? Uh, we do not know at this time. Do you know what store it started? Uh, no, we know that it happened inside of the mall, but we're still trying to determine exactly where the actual primary crime scene was. Uh, and as soon as we have that information, we can provide that. When you say initial crime scene, are you talking about the fight that led to the shooting or the actual shooting? Uh, both. We believe that the shooting happened somewhere near where the fight happened. Can you give us like an area of the mall, like east side, west side? Un unfortunately, we just because generally with these types of crime scenes, people tend to move around pretty quickly. So we're trying to figure out exactly where that is before we give you any kind of wrong information. But, but as of now, there is no indication that um, a large portion of the mall was negatively affected. It seems like it was an isolated incident that happened between certain individuals. We're being told that it initially started near Dillard's and then spilled out into the middle of the mall. Can you confirm or deny that? Unfortunately, I cannot. Not at this time. Uh, so we, we will be out here for a little while completing our investigation, but that should not affect any kind of the businesses nearby. Uh, we might have a little bit of the smaller roads nearby closed off for a little while longer, but ultimately the mall will be cleared and the business will decide whether it wants to open for the remaining uh, business hours. And then the rest of the area nearby the mall uh, has been open to include the rest of Las Vegas Boulevard and any nearby businesses. What do you say to our community? We've dealt with a mass shooting. Now we have a shooting inside the mall. It's very scary. I know for many people. So what do you say to our community to try and make them feel safer tonight? You know, what I would say is we have an unbelievable police force and first responder community. Everyone from our police to fire to the business partners that we work with, whether it's the Fashion Show Mall or any of the other business practice or partners that we work with all along the Strip. We have an unbelievable community that knows how to respond to these incidents, deal with them as quickly as possible and, and limit the damage. And uh, hopefully this evening we've, we've done just that. Uh, and I can assure you that as Sheriff Lombardo has talked about, we believe in relentless follow-up, so we will ensure that every single detail is looked upon and that we uh, investigate this to ensure that does not happen again. As far as crews out here, who do, you, do you have other police departments assisting Metro, or who is out here as far as assisting in this investigation and this scene? So I'm not sure of all of the other agencies that are involved. I do know that Nevada Highway, Highway Patrol is in assisting us with some of the traffic control. And then, of course, our partners from the fire department, as well as our business community partners, are assisting us as well. I do not know at this time. A lot of the MACTAC principles that we have when we respond to any type of major incident are used commonly. Uh, so it's a fair assumption that we used a lot of our same practices that we normally would, but it was not considered a MACTAC activation as in an active shooter. Very important for the community to know this was not an active shooter. It was an isolated incident involving very certain individuals, and ultimately uh, the scene currently is stable and um, everything is safe for our community. Do we know if these people were possibly tourists or people in our community who live here? Unfortunately, I don't know that this time. The investigation just began, but uh, we'll have details soon, and we'll provide everything we can to you and the community as, as soon as possible. What charges might the shooter or shooters face? Uh, that also has to be determined once the investigation moves along. So, But I really appreciate uh, the time, and uh, hopefully we'll give you some more information once we have it. Thank you. Um, as of now, no, because we are getting ready to open up uh, everything and, and move on. So uh, from the, the scene being dynamic to it being static. So at this point, uh, uh, they probably won't be able to do this. Do you know how many gun cases are recovered or anything like that? I do not, sorry. Thank you, folks. Appreciate it. Uh, Dory, D-O-R-I. And Corin, K-O-R. She can grab this off yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Captain. Captain, D-O-R-I. Uh, D O R I uh -huh. K O R E N and uh, just the captain for Convention Center Area Command. Okay. And then, um, unfortunately, they just print up, they're still printing up for me, so I'll have them soon. Oh, do we know how many gunshots were fired? No, not at this time. Okay. Seen two people got shot at the mall. Um, one of them was lying constantly on the floor, and the other one was an elderly. He was pulled out with a wheelchair. He had a left gun wound.
something was terribly wrong. And my first assumption was, shooter, there's a shooter. And then he confirmed it for me. And the level of anxiety I had in that moment was undescribable. A lot of fear, a lot of panic tonight after a shooting inside Fashion Show Mall this evening. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. There was a heavy police presence and a response to Fashion Show Mall, which is right here at Las Vegas Boulevard and Spring Mountain. Yes, and there were closures in the area, in and around nearby roads, even freeway exits were briefly closed as police actively investigated that shooting. Now, we have team coverage tonight. We begin with Kristen Drummond, who was the first on scene to take us through exactly what happened. Kristen? Brian and Denise, Metro Police say three people were shot at Fashion Show Mall. That led to a lockdown, but that has since been lifted. But as you can see behind me, Metro Police are still on the backside of the property on Sammy Davis Jr. Drive investigating this tonight. The shooting happened at around 6.15 inside the mall, but Metro Police hasn't identified where at the moment. Metro Police say a fight started among some people, which then led to possibly one person firing a gun. Metro sources tell us it likely involved kids and we can confirm the gang unit is here investigating. Police want to stress this was not an active shooter and that the community is safe tonight. We believe it's an isolated incident. We don't believe that it was any kind of targeted shooting, but uh, we don't know the role of every single victim at this point, and we don't know the role of anyone else who might have been involved during the initial altercation. All three people shot were taken to the hospital and are expected to live. Metro sources tell us one person was shot in the face, another in the leg, and bullets hit a third person in the chest and face. Metro police are still looking for a suspect or suspects in this case at the moment. Now, roads around the mall did close along with the off-ramps on I-15. Those did reopen to drivers again, though, tonight. But as the shooting unfolded, it scared many shoppers who were inside the mall. Shaquille Alvarenga did speak with some of them who had to look where they may hide and what they had to wait for Metro to release them finally. Shakela. Well, Kristen, as you mentioned, it was a terrifying scene, especially for those who were inside of Fashion Show Mall at the time of the shooting. We talked to several people who described that scene as chaotic. Once gunshots were heard, a lot of people tried to escape. Another person, an employee at a store inside of the mall, said he and his manager took their customers into the back of the store to keep them safe. I had seen two people got shot at the mall. Um, one of them was lying constantly on the floor and the other one was an elderly. He was pulled out with the wheelchair. He had a left gun wound. It was pretty scary. I just, I've never seen something like this. And I mean, I've heard stuff here in Vegas, but I've never really, you know, seen it. It was like a regular work day. And then I looked like outside of our store and there's people running one way. Of course, this could have been much, much worse. Many witnesses thanking first responders tonight for their quick action during a terrifying moment. Traffic, it was at a standstill for a few hours, but it is back to normal at this hour. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now. Shakela, thank you. This is not the first incident at the uh, Fashion Show Mall. It was last May. A man was arrested for firing a gun inside the mall. That night, police say two groups got into a fight and one man shot once. No one was heard in that situation. And Brian, in July of 2014, two groups of men got into a fight there again at Fashion Show and somebody fired a gun. One man was shot in the neck. And finally, a separate frightening incident from 2018. This one at the Boulevard Mall, 25-year-old Emil Hobson was arrested for walking through the mall carrying a fake rifle. He was wearing a mask during that incident, and those inside thought the gun was real. He was later charged with felony terrorism.